Hey guys, my name is Bharat and I'm the creator of Bharat in Germany. So yesterday I received a very interesting email from a student who said, I've tried to look everywhere for English short programs, but I couldn't find any. Now, this email was written from the context that, okay, like I've taken a look everywhere. I've pretended to take a look everywhere, but can you do actually the final research and send it to me, all of the details? The problem with this kind of approach is that people try to act dumb and they try to show that, okay, like I've done my part, but can you also like help me out a bit further? But when you know that even if you put a simple Google search and you write for English short programs in Germany, you will come across a lot of different kind of portals. Some portals are good, some portals are bad, but you will get some kind of results right away. The problem with this lazy excuse is that it has been taught also like you know during our school times so that like we can tell our teacher that hey you know we have done all of this research but what if you can help us out a bit more and in the process of helping us out a bit more you can actually tell us the entire thing anybody who is making these like lame or lazy excuses like one thing i can tell you is that the moment you start just like reaching out for help without doing any of your own research first of all like you're losing respect in front of that other person because that person knows that if you would have done any kind of research you would have come up with some kind of results the better way to like formulate these kind of questions is of course i've taken a look at here 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 like i haven't been able to find this particular thing that's a more reasonable thing the reason why i'm addressing this email and also like this similar kind of questions is because i've seen then students sending out similar kind of emails which are pretty lazy and sometimes even stupid to admission committees to german universities to different kind of professors and then they start building a different kind of opinion about indian students than they otherwise have and this is something we need to avoid because again when you come to a new country as a foreigner you need to make a good name for yourself if i would have been lazy and i would have decided okay like you know i don't want to do any kind of like uh, german taught programs let me just go for english taught programs whatsoever even if it was not in my like proper interest maybe i wouldn't have ended up where i am right now i've told to my team so we have now a team of like you know eight people and it's it's growing very nicely so i was like talking to them previously that the one thing that really changed everything where i am right now is my decision of taking a break and actually redoing everything from the start so my background is from civil engineering what was the logical decision to go ahead and do structural engineering i did that for one year decided okay this is not going to be my cup of tea let me try to figure something else so I decided to talk to different kind of professors, talk to a lot of students who were also the seniors in my structural engineering studies and see what kind of options did they find when they were maybe not so happy with the program. Then I came to know about international management and engineering. And this was one of the best decisions I could do because this is exactly where my marketing interests aligned. And that is why I was able to work on my master thesis. In my master thesis, I worked actually on Beck Academy. So I was able to like optimize a lot of things and the professors were very nice. All of these things combined, I was actually able to start my own marketing consulting company in the end, which now takes care of Facebook ads, YouTube ads, Quora ads, all of these different things for different kind of companies. Now, if I wouldn't have done that, if I would have stayed lazy, not done my research and just like try to ask people stupid questions, first of all, the response rate would have been very, very low. I tell you, when you write a stupid email to a professor, he can really clearly see through it and he can decide if he wants to respond to your stupid email or not. And when I was doing all of this research, my research was very to the point and whenever I was asking questions, they were very targeted questions. And it was not an essay, I was not like, you know, explaining everything about myself, but I was only trying to figure out one particular thing that the target person can help me with. Because I also see sometimes in the emails when people try to like, you know, approach somebody, they wrote a huge essay about themselves, like all the background story and everything. But if you think about it, people like, you know, professors, many people in the admission committee, or even I, I don't have so much time that I read through everything. And then I actually like, you know, come up with the question. Best way to approach these kind of, let's say people are also just to directly ask the questions without beating around the bush too much right so do your research it is very important to do it do not outsource anything which is important in your life and i've talked about this over and over again many people for example arranged marriages what do you do you try to outsource that decision to your parents or maybe sometimes you don't even get to have that choice at all in the starting right but 
for many people it is a hit for many other people it is a miss now but if you would have not outsourced that decision and maybe like you know try to spend more time on those particular decisions on your own maybe the results would have been much better and you wouldn't have the regret that you had no let's say decision power of it that's why i always say anything which is important in your life don't outsource it to anybody i also know many people are very enticed by this option that i'm just going to pay somebody some money and he's going to fill out my application processes for me and he's going to do the visa booking and you know figure out my documents and stuff like that what you have to understand is like again nobody cares about your application process like you would nobody else no matter how much money you would give them so that's why the important decisions do it yourself do some research for it and ask the right questions from the right people that's why if you're looking for anything regarding to germany studying in germany or finding jobs in germany you will find support for both of those things on big academy the complete course for studying in germany and the complete course for finding jobs in germany so i hope this video helps you a bit and makes you understand that the thing with being lazy is that you will not essentially end up anywhere good do your own research when you need guidance ask specific questions and ask them to the right people thank you so much for watching this video i will see you in the next one